technology surrounds us, we are overwhelmed every waking moment by devices designed to communicate with us. Clocks tell us the time. Thermometers report to us if we need a coat to face the day. Radios deliver us news and entertainment. By far the most stimulating medium for delivering a message is an electronic display. Nothing else can capture attention like a moving picture. Displays mirror the pictures our minds imagine and allow us to express ourselves as we think. Displays, like all technologies, have evolved over time. Black and white images became color. Television has evolved into interactive content on demand, accessible anywhere in the world. Most recently, displays have developed the ability to produce colors in greater saturation and hues, more closely matching the spectrum the human eye is capable of perceiving. More color would seem to be an obvious benefit, and as a generic feature it certainly is. But the display is just a medium on which the message is conveyed. The content displayed must match the color capabilities of the display, or the effect can be adverse. Think of your favorite sports car. Imagine the engine turning at full power. If there were no controls to attenuate that power, to adjust for the road and weather conditions the car encounters, a powerful engine would be of little use. The same is true for displays. If a display, capable of showing highly saturated color, is not equipped with the technology to adjust for the content, the impact of the message being communicated will be lost. This chart was created by the International Commission on Illumination, or CIE, in 1931. It displays the full spectrum of human vision plotted in a standard X and Y format. Using it, any visible color can be referenced numerically. The triangle illustrates the range of colors a display device might be capable of producing, shown as a subset of the entire visual spectrum. This subset is called a color space. Many scientifically defined color spaces exist to provide reference for technology used in specific applications. sRGB is the standard color space created cooperatively by Hewlett Packard and Microsoft for use on computer displays, printers, and the internet. It is the most prominent reference for color in content used today. Adobe RGB was developed by Adobe Systems to encompass most of the colors achievable on CMYK color printers by using the RGB colors on a device such as a computer display. It is most commonly associated with photography. REC 709 is associated with HD TV content such as HD broadcast television, DVD or Blu-ray video content. An electronic display with the capability of utilizing color beyond the boundaries of a defined color space performs best when mapped to color spaces corresponding with the content displayed. Although mathematically this two-dimensional graph can illustrate a color space, the actual color perception of the display is more accurately portrayed in three dimensions. CIE 1976 Lab Space, or LAB, allows for plotting of color within a three-dimensional shape. Since the effect transitions can be non-linear, LAB allows much more accurate adjustments based on human perception of light. Chromatune, Portrait Display's color gamut mapping technology, is a software-based tool which alters the visual perception of the color reproduction of a display device, allowing content intended to be displayed with known reference colors to be perceived correctly by the audience, thus ensuring the original message of the content is not adversely altered. Note the effects on the image to the right. Here you see a simulation of chromatune adjusting the perception of a color gamut. By applying Portrait Display's proprietary process, we are able to map a display's color gamut to a target space, 
in this case, sRGB. For more information or to schedule a demonstration, please contact sales at portrait.com. Thank you.